chapter two or topic two, also part of unit two. So unit two, we decided to you know have chapter two or topic two with topic five. So we're going to be using uh, volume one and volume two uh, of our book. So we going to start with definitely topic two first. Topic two, by the way, analyzing and solving linear equations. So topic five will be related to it. So when we get to it, I'll show you that uh, the other other chapter will be related to that one. So this is, for example, topic two, uh, so uh, topic five analyzing and solving system of linear equations so you could see they are they're similar so that's why we combine them together right so you can see i'm going to show you here so if i do this for example uh, i could show you that this is a topic two here and topic five they're all both are related so that's what we're going to be doing for this unit all right so at the beginning we're going to start with definitely uh, uh the chapter two chapter two has has an, a nine sections in it this is a very important chapter by the way this is what you like i said before you're going to take it with you to algebra one uh in it you're going to have uh how to you need to know how to combine like terms and solving equation for the x value for example uh it's going to be multi-step sometimes it could be sometimes the answer will be an actual answer for example or it could be no solution or it could be infinite number of solutions all those things you're going to be learning. So yeah, this is all brand new for you, probably. Uh, we're going to be mentioning about the slope. We're going to talk about the slope intercept. We're going to talk about the y-intercept. Uh, we're going to be comparing. We're going to be analyzing. We're going to do a lot of those things in this chapter. So nine sections. So we have to move. We'll have. We'll, we'll be able, inshallah, to finish it uh, with chapter five itself, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. Okay? So just you know, relax and. It, it's going to be fun because this is going to be something that you're learning, uh, new things, new ideas. Uh, we're going to work hard, by the way. I mean, we have to work hard because if we don't work hard, we're not going to, you know, uh, you know, reach our goal, which is, you know, understanding the material. So when I go to grade nine this way or when I go to algebra one, in some cases, you need to be able to know this before you start. So this will make it a lot easier for you when you get to algebra one. Because this way you'll have a background, a good background about how to do things. So we're going to work on it together. So now, uh, I did mention this in our my video for the second, uh, the, the week that we're going to be doing this. So like I said, here you're going to have solving equations with variables and on both sides. I'm just going to give you the idea here. For example, uh, you have a variable. For example, here you could see this. Uh, I have an x here and there's an x here. And then you need to combine them together. Here, you could, this x and this x, and you need to put them on one side so you could have them uh, solved and finding the value for x. Uh, also, uh, I'll show you the next sections, which are you know related to multi solving multi multi step equations. So multi step equations is the same same what we learned, but now we're adding more steps to it. Right? So we're adding more steps to that equation. Uh, in this case, for example, you know, I'm, I'm showing you that now we have to do a distributive property. So now a two has to be multiplied. So now we distribute uh, the term of uh, the, the, the two on the other terms inside the, the brackets or the parentheses. And then you end up with a solving. So remember what we we did before, for example, the, the sections before, we were probably we started somewhere here, right? For example, we start probably somewhere here. And now we are, you know, we're going one step above it. So that's why we call it multi-step. Uh, equations all right so uh, same thing we keep on going and going and that's how we're going to end up with the chapter the chapter is going to end up like this right now let's go ahead and to chapter five chapter five okay chapter five you can see it's just almost almost similar title analyzing and solving system of linear equations now same idea now it's more a little bit more more advanced now we're going to be talking about something here called uh substitution system by solving by substitution and elimination. This is a very, very, very important subject here because you're going to be doing this also in your ACT exams. You're going to be doing this uh, anytime, anytime you move up in, in math, you're going to be using substitution, elimination. You get, you're going to keep hearing it more than you more than you believe. Okay, this is going to be done a lot. So now we're going to this is we're going to concentrate so much on. Okay, and then we could use solving also by graphing. Okay, this is very. It's also very important. So uh, let's go ahead and just give you a, a you know a glimpse of what's going on. All right. So you could go and remember uh, the volume two, a different book. 
So it starts with a chapter five, uh, and in it, uh, there's chapter six, seven, eight. No, those ones are going to be in term two, by the way. So, oh yeah, by the way, uh, unit two is going to cover chapter two and five, and it's going to be going all the way till the end of uh, the term. So term one is going to be only two and, and five after that. And then we'll go to uh, the other uh, uh, four chapters. They're going to be covered in term two. Okay, I'll talk to you about them later. When, when we reach them, I'll talk to you about it. Okay, so that's how it's going to look like. This is chapter five. Uh, I'll show you it's a lot of things here. Now, uh, estimating a solution by inspection. This is probably we're not, we're not going to concentrate too much on it as much as you know the other part. But this is an easy. You know, here we could uh, look at the graphs and we could estimate and we could do that. And this is this is a very interesting ch chapters. By by the way, two and five are very important chapters in my opinion. Okay, so we and by the way, if you learn, let, we'll work very hard on chapter two. So by the time we get to chapter five, it becomes a lot easier because if we understand chapter two, chapter five would be easier than that, right? So chapter five is not that hard. I'm not trying to say it's hard, but you know, it, it's going to be easier to deal with if you know chapter two very well. And that's what we were going to work on. So there's a lot of, we're going to be working together and you guys are going to be working alone at home. So we're going to work to, you know, as a team in, in this case, in class and at home. So. I'll just you know just to show you this is the graph by the way yeah if you don't know what a graph is I'm sure you know what a graph is so this is what a graph is and we could read that graph by looking at it for example I could see that this point for example here this point is made up of a four and a, and a five so an x value for four and a, a y value for five so we know we I'm, we're gonna introduce again to make sure that this is the y axis and this is the x axis okay and from there we could solve every point so we could find any point we want like for example this point is going to be here the one here it's going to be a six and a six so how does it work I'll, I'll show you don't worry okay so nothing to worry about but this is going to be our unit interesting unit i like this unit by the way uh, so we'll have fun don't worry okay guys yeah talk to you later bye bye